Hi, and welcome to an introduction to PrEP. This video will cover various ways of creating documents with tabs. They're just really dependent on the originals that you get to create the job, but I'm going to show you a number of ways to do it. First way I'm going to show you is to build a job and use the automated features. I'll go out and I'll grab files where the actual file name is necessary on the ear of the tab. I've opened my files, brought them in, and now I'm just going to tell it to automate the tabs and chapters, automate creating the tabs, and use the file names for the tab ears. So you'll see when the job opens, our tab content has already been created. Another way to create tabs is to just browse out and pull in the file that you'd like to create the tabs in. In this file, it's visibly apparent to me where the tabs need to go. So I can control click on the pages that will go after each tab. And then I'll right click and insert tabs. I can click insert and edit and it'll take me right to the page where I can type on the ear of these tabs as well. I have control over my font the size, and most of the major characteristics of fonts. I can also add an image to the arrow of the tab if I like by clicking on the folder icon, browsing out, and locating an image. I can add it to all of the tabs. I can scale it and I can also place it on the ear where I would like it to reside. So now that I have my tabs in place, I also need to insert an 11 by 17 wiring diagram. So I'm going to click on Insert New Pages. I could also scan in at this point if I had files I needed to scan. Notice too that I can add just the page range if I like. Once my wiring diagram is in, I'm going to allocate 11 by 17 paper for it. Once I've set my finishing, I'll go into my reader view and page through the document to make sure my placement is correct. Another commonly used tab creation method is using a file that already has a tab text written down the right corner of the page. If I control click the pages and then right click, go to tab, convert to tab, and now I've got my tabs created pretty quickly. So thanks for spending some time with me. This was an introduction to prep and creating tab documents.